Hey, this is MC Hellraiser. I'm playing on my three month tag here. Probably gonna be my main account in a bit. It's called No Daddy No. And this is a Lone Wolves gameplay. It actually takes place probably around level 15. I don't normally show these kind of gameplays if it's low level and it's not a perfection. But this one, I'm doing it for those of you who find yourselves in trouble in this playlist because this kind of thing can happen a lot. It's really easy to get unlucky at the beginning of a playlist, a Lone Wolves game in particular, and think that you are just screwed and you're not going to win, even at low levels, you know. And, um, you know, right there I make a huge mistake. thought that guy was up here on close, on open street attacking somebody else, which is why I made the push up there. Got embarrassed instead. Um, I was able to kill this guy. Couldn't even so much as shoot him in the head, you know. Just nothing's going right so far. But, you know, hey, I got him. I'm thinking maybe I can get myself a sword. You know, maybe I can, you know, overcome this two-point deficit in this crappy start. I got this guy here. I can out-BR him. Guess not. No, he's gonna no-scope me. I'm frustrated as hell. I just got no-scoped in the face at level 15, you know. I'm not happy. I know that guy's still up there. But no, he drops down behind me and does it again. And he adds insult to injury. I'm fucking furious at this point. You know, I've died like, what, five, six times? Not a damn thing's going right, but I can get this guy, but no. See what I mean? Everyone has games like this, and it can be really hard to keep your head into a game like this and turn it around. When you have a game like this, sometimes you do have to focus on either just getting a point or looking at the overall score and going, you know, hey, I'm still in this even though it hasn't gone my way, which is the case. In spite of all that's happened, I'm only down by three. You know, that kill gets robbed from me too. But I can pick up this guy. I'm still only down by three. You know, like I said, nothing's going my way, but you just got to stay positive, stay in it, and stay focused. And I mean, sometimes you'll get rewarded, like... You know, finally something goes right. I have a double kill here, and, you know, thank God. But then this guy comes up with a brute shot. Wait, he kills himself. Ah, oh, shit, getting AR in the back. Oh, but wait. Oh, Ninja, that was sick. Shit. Oh, and these two idiots killed Tacular. Now I'm in first. Well, fuck, that was nice. Okay, in all honesty, that's probably not... <laughs> results like that aren't typical. Just from staying focused and keeping your head in the game, but in all seriousness, you know, results like that, that double kill, that is typical. You know, that can happen, even at higher levels. You know, it doesn't need to... Just like that, we're at a killing frenzy. You don't need to get kill atrocities, though, to turn the game around. You really don't. All you gotta do is stay focused, stay on your game, and stay aware of the situation. And even if the bad shit does keep happening to the point where you're like negative fucking 15 or whatever, in Lone Wolves it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't still get yourself an XP point and get yourself at least third place. Remember, in Lone Wolves, even third place is winning. So if you just keep your head in the game and get through it, you know, maybe, uh, maybe things will work out for you. And if not, just shake it off and breathe. Now, once I got that Kiltrocity and something sweet happened to me, you know, I, I fed off of that, as you can see by the score here. You know, I have died like once or twice or something crazy like that since it happened. I freaking mo like more than doubled my score even after the kill atrocity and I'm just cleaning house now you know the guy who was winning before has gotten four kills since I got like 15 or something yeah, another death happens right there not a big deal this game's over at this point and uh, yeah, typical construct game. All you all you really gotta do, pick your openings at the top of the lifts. Wait till like people are fighting if there's campers up there. 
Um, once you get that top ground, just, you know, just circle that top area where most of the action's going on, and you will find something. And just keep your wits strong, even if bad shit happens to you. That's how you play Construct, and that's how you stay focused in a game that starts out really shitty. You never know what could happen, so... Yeah, hope you keep that in mind. I'm out. Later.